You guys didn't get a proper test last time. I was parked in front of my house and the neighbor's kid was trying to sleep so I didn't test it too long. But uh, <clears throat> ignore the messy wiring. I need to go through and straighten that up. I said uh, I may be changing vehicles so I'm not in a rush to change that yet. I need to clean that all up yet. Um, uh, see, that's the new amp. Well, newer amp. I have that running the mids and highs. This is this little booty I found is my uh, blocker, so it's not rubbing up against the box. You can see where it's the box has had a little bit of damage from that. Yeah, that game needs to be turned down on this. And that's where my mids and highs, and it's starting to get hot. So let's turn that gain down a little bit more. If I can grab it. Yeah, it's down. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's play a song real quick. idling right now because otherwise I don't know how long my battery would last. So I just have her idling. Uh, yeah, it has a little bit I think that's bad for about $260 worth of box and sub. And I spent 50 on the amp, so I'm only 300 into that. Uh, I mean, you don't get me wrong, it can definitely be louder. Um, I'm gonna be entering my first sound competition here on the 28th. We'll see what I'm in then. I'll probably post an update before I actually enter the competition so you guys can see the new ride. Um, and so I'm thinking it's gonna be a Ford Expedition. It'll have a stronger alternator stock so I can get away with this power a little bit easier without training the electrical system so much. Uh, but that's my update. I said essentially everything's the same. I put the front. That's the new system. Ignore the mess of my truck. Uh, yeah, it's definitely louder than what it used to be. Uh, I'm happy with it. 
Um, like I said, might be moving into a bigger vehicle with a better electrical system from stock. So, we'll see. Alright, you guys have a good day.